Hi Coin Don viewers. This is my second part of a three-part series on the coinage and history of the Straits settlements. I hope you enjoyed my first part on the Straits settlements coin during the reign of Queen Victoria. In this second part, I will be bringing alive the coinage and history of the Straits settlements when King Edward VII was the reigning monarch on the throne. As usual, I will be showcasing coins from the quarter cent denomination to the silver $1 pieces in my personal collection. We'll also be sharing with you historical trivia of the Strait Settlements, King Edward VII, his legacy and the kind of coins that should be in your collection. Watch till the end for I will be giving you the all important key date coins to collect. Some of these coins have become scarce because of their limited mintage and high demand for them. The Straits Settlements They were a group of British territories located in Southeast Asia, originally established in 1826 as part of the territories controlled by the British East India Company. The Strait Settlements came under the British Raj control in 1858 and then under direct British control as a Crown Colony on 1st April 1867. In 1946, following the end of the Second World War and the Japanese occupation, the colony was dissolved as part of Britain's reorganization of its South East Asian dependencies in the area. And these are my collection of the Strait Settlements coin during the period of Edward VII. My interest in coin collection started when I received one of my first Straits Settlements coin, a Queen Victoria one cent copper coin. From then onwards, my interest and knowledge on the Strait Settlement coinage have never stopped and so has my collection. Here is a sample of the coins I have in my personal collection. And now, a little background and history on King Edward VII, who was also known as the Grandfather of Europe and even Edward the Peacemaker. Edward was born on the 9th of November 1841 in Buckingham Palace. He was the eldest son and second child of Queen Victoria and her husband. He was christened Albert Edward at St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle on the 25th January 1842. He was named Albert after his father and Edward after his maternal grandfather. He was known as Bertie to the royal family throughout his life. He married the lovely Princess Alexandra of Denmark in 1863. He was only 21 and she was 18. And they went on to have six lovely children. And here's a little background on their children that some of you might not have known. The oldest was Prince Albert Victor, born in 1864, but he died in 1892. The second son was Prince George Frederick Ernest Albert, born in 1865. George, as he was known, would go on to ultimately succeed Edward VII as King George V. The next child was Princess Louise, the Princess Royal who was born in 1867. The fourth was Princess Victoria, born in 1868. The fifth child was Princess Maud, born in 1869. And the last child was Prince Alexander who was born on the 6th of April 1871. Sadly, he died the next day on the 7th of April 1871 at Sandringham House. The king only reigned for a short period but he left behind a rich legacy. 
The Edwardian period of British history spanned the reign of King Edward VII from 1901 to 1910. This period is sometimes portrayed as a romantic golden age of long summer afternoons and garden parties, basking in the sun that never sets on the British Empire. As King Edward VII proved a greater success than anyone had expected, in his short reign, he ensured that his second son and heir, George V, was better prepared to take the throne. Coming up first is the quarter cent coin. It's made out of bronze. The weight is about 2.33 gram. The key date for you to collect is the 1904 coin, which is smooth edged and a proof coin. Next is the gorgeous half cent coin. The material use was also the same, bronze. The weight was 4.66 grams and the key date coin is the 1904 proof coin. The final bronze coin is our lovely 1 cent coin made out of also bronze. The weight was 9.33 grams and here these guys, the key date that you should collect is the rare 1906 coin. The governors of the Strait Settlements appointed by the Colonial Office during King Edward's VII reign, the first was Sir Frank Swettenham. A number of places and roads in Malaysia and Singapore were named in his honour, including Swettenham Pier in Penang Island and Swettenham Road in Singapore. And the last governor during his reign was Sir John Anderson. The Anderson Road and the Anderson Bridge in Singapore are named in his honour. There were some really interesting notable events that happened in Singapore during this period. For example, do you know, in 1901, Singapore Kranji Railway was officially opened to the public? And in 1904, Singapore changed its time zone to GMT plus 7 from the original GMT 6.55 minutes 25 seconds. In 1906, the Taunam School was established and interestingly in 1910, the Anderson Bridge was officially opened by Governor Sir John Anderson. And coming up with the fabulous silver coins, the first is a 5 cent coin which is made of silver weighs about 1.36 gram and the key date that you should collect is the 1902 proof coin next is the 10 cent piece it's also made of silver weighs 2.71 grams and the key dates take note guys you should collect the 1903 and the 1910 b coin b is Bombay. It was minted in Bombay. And this gorgeous 20 cent piece weighs 5.43 grams and the key date that you should collect is the 1903 coin. Coming up is the lovely 50 cent coin and it's made of silver. The weight is 13.5 gram and that were, there were two types, a bigger variation and the smaller. The bigger variation was from 1902 to 1905 and they, like I said, weigh 13.5 grams. And for the smaller coins which were minted from 1907 to 1908, they weighed about 10.10 .10 grams. And these are the rare key date coins that you should have, the 1902, 1903 and the 1907. And this is the $1 silver coin. Look at the intricate design. There were also two kinds. The bigger coins, which were minted 1903 to 1904, they weighed 26.95 grams. And as for the smaller coins, they were minted from 1907 to 1909 and they weighed 20.22 grams. The key dates that should be in your collection are the 1907H and the rare 1909 coin. And well, that's all I have for you today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
My next video would be the Straight Settlement Coins Part 3 which will feature the coins during the reign of King George V. And if you really enjoyed my video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until then, bye guys.